Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Silburn Show, which is an inspiring, motivational, and educational show. Welcome. Next on the episode of the Silburn Show, I'll be speaking with Kwame M. A. McPherson. Note that M. A. McPherson, who is an award-winning writer, entrepreneur, prolific writer, and poet. We will find out what inspires and motivates Kwame. Hey, Kwame, welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I got you on my sofa finally. Kwame. You know, finally. Fantastic. Fantastic. Finally, finally, finally. Kwame. Yeah. First thing I want to ask you is, what exactly is an entrepreneur? Well, <laughs> you're reading my script. What exactly is an entrepreneur? Um, an entrepreneur basically, basically is what, what I've discovered as a writer, because that's, um, that's who I am first and foremost. Yes, yes. Um, and I'm also an, an entrepreneur. Okay. So I, I, the term came because I was reading something and I said, wow, you could be an entrepreneur, which means I'm a writer as well as an entre entrepreneur. Okay. So I've, I've married the two. So my writing is my business. Right. So I'm right. an entrepreneur. So that's basically what the term means. Okay, okay. That's, that's very unique. So, yeah, it is. So what should I say? I'm a... Rapper channel? So I used to rap. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, you good. Could that's good. So what inspired you to be a writer? Um, wow. Um, what inspired me? Well, it be, the journey began from, from the day I was born, that's what I say. Right. I'm, I'm a writer from the day I was born. But in, in, in Jamaica and the Caribbean, as you know, right. we tend to write from a very young age. Right. So um, essays, poetry, you know, from primary school coming up. It's, it's from very basic school coming up. Mm -hmm. I did it a bit. I went to high school. I didn't focus on it at all in high school. As a matter of fact, my brother was a better writer than I was at right. high school. He won awards in high school. Well, I, I wasn't starting to write yet. So you were you're born where? I was born here, but I, I lived in Jamaica most of my life. So, so your, your formal yeah. early education was in was Jamaica? Was in Jamaica, yeah, yeah. If your formal early education was in the UK, would you say you'd be a writer? No, but funny enough, I, 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 don't, I don't know, but if, I, based on my experiences of interacting with the education here and young people here, I mm. don't think so. Right. You know, right. because from what I understand in terms of where people were channeled and what they were told and, um, and how they were directed, yes. you know, um, they, were, they, they, they probably wouldn't fulfill their dreams in that sense. You know? that, that's very interesting. And I, and I hope that the, the viewers, and if anything, can uh, write in at some point to just to get their experience about that particular point uh, about the level of training yeah. or formal training in yeah. the Caribbean yeah, or developing definitely. countries in comparison to yeah. the developed country. Exactly. I thought the developed country would be much better, isn't no, it? No, it's funny. As a matter of fact, my nephew, who's now six, yes. his writing at that age, if I compare it to somebody back in Jamaica, is, right. is, is very poor. Okay, that's, you know that, that, that's very that interesting. So what happened, like I yeah. said, so it's only when I left Jamaica now back in 85 when I came mm. to the UK, when the writing started to take a, a, a life of its own. But yes. even then, I was doing it as a hobby. Right. It, was, it was only in 2006 I I'd started doing it as a business. Okay. And it is lucrative. Hard work, it, it can be very lucrative. So it is very lucrative. So we're going to subvoid it? <laughs> so on <why>? you? <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, you can always touch base with Kwame to go to the subvoid. Um, mm. Other than the books that you've written, because mm -hmm. I've seen that you've written a few books, yeah. and, uh, and people will be able to find that when we put up yeah. your details. What is your favorite book of all time? Not your book. Well, I mean, it's if it's your book, it's your book. book. What's your favorite book of all time? You'd say? Of all time, well, a book that, in terms of my my lowest ebb in terms of my life, my life journey, the book yes. that helped me was Spirit of a Man. By, Spirit of a uh, Man. Yeah, by Eliana Van Sand. Okay. Phenomenal book. Okay. And that was that for me is my lifetime book. Right. It's almost as it probably says some of this Bible, but for me it's my it's my, in that essence. It's so deep in terms of showing me who I am yes. and where I was at that particular point in my life, and it took me out took me out of that spot actually. And for me, that's my best book of all time. For uh, me. Uh, and what would you say is like a particular passage or a particular quote within that book or something that jumped out, which is which is revolutionary? Um, that revolutionize your thinking or transform it. Basically, to, to, to believe in self, there's a, there's a, especially in her intro, in terms yes. of talking about the black man and in terms of what he's been through yeah. and everything else, especially in terms of our journey, you know, from uh, the motherland over to the yes. Caribbean and to the New World, so to speak, and recognizing who I am. 
Yes. You know, I mean, that's what jumped out. And when you go through the entire book itself, it empowers you in that way. Yes. Sense, you know, to how to forgive, forgive yourself yes. and how to look on yourself in terms of the stuff that you've been through yes. and, and how to take time out to just be still and learn about and reflect on yes. where you've been. And so it's a, a, it's a phenomenal book. And the entire book itself is, yes. is just a masterpiece in my mind. And I think it's a yeah. book that yeah. a lot of <coughs> young black men can, can, yeah. can use in their, own, in their own lives, really. So it is a book, even though one could say, um, empower, yeah. educate, yeah. inspire, motivate yeah. young yeah. black men. Yes, definitely. It is a book at the same time which crosses different races at the same yes. time. Yes, it does. Because there's a key factor you said, and which I want to point out to the mm. viewers, is self-belief. Yeah. Because by, by virtue of the belief, it's having an identity. Yes, it is. Yes, because it is. an identity is a key factor, yes, isn't it? Is. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Yes, it is. So tell us about um, uh, a new project which you have coming up, which, of course, I did our research about. Paradise Empire. If it's a secret, <laughs> you don't have to say it. But <laughs> no. yeah. uh, I can't talk about it. Well, basically, I, I have a number of projects. You yeah. know what I mean? And this one is, is my first novel because I've written short story books, I've written yeah. poetry books, I've written non fiction, mm -hmm. but I haven't actually done a novel. So this is my first novel, which is a trilogy. Okay. Yeah. What's, that, what's a trilogy? A trilogy is three books, basically. It's yeah. a bit like, um, yeah, like that film, Lord of the Rings. Exactly. So, so, you so yeah, yeah. So you've, you've written three books. So it's a, it's a trilogy. So we're going to see three movies. I hope, yeah. Ladies and yes. gentlemen, we're going to see three <laughs> movies from <laughs> you know, Paul Kind of paradise <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, I'm basically it's a, it's, I'm writing as a woman um, and her journey yeah. as a woman growing up in Jamaica, yeah. her mother leaving her behind, and the experiences that she goes through. And the Paradise Embers is the middle of those three books. Okay, yeah, so I look forward to that. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great read. Mm. <laughs> now, around us and in society, what would you say is your inspiring factor? What inspires you? Ah. Is it is it what or who? Mm. That's the question. What or who that inspires you? What inspires me? Well, I'm inspired by in terms of our journey as African people. I'm inspired by that. What yes. ancestors went, what they went through before, and where I am today. Because mm. I'm just basically a legacy of what they've been through. Yes, the strength yes. of the, our, our people. In that. So I'm just a, mm. a, a result of them going through what they've been through, and yes. I'm here. Yes. So, so that's my inspiration. That be, that's very basic for me. Yes. Um, and then on top of that, you're talking about just. Us, uh, just humanness, you know yes. what I mean? Uh, taking people for who they are, their experiences, learning and going through all of that and the life observations, because a lot yes. of my, what I write about is about life yes. observations, um, sharing those stories, listening to stories, helping other people tell their stories. Yes. So, so that for me is also very inspiring. Yes. Um, and there's times when, when I interact with young people, because I do a lot of work with young yes. people, and you hear to what they've been through and then you enable them to tell their yes. story and how they get confidence from that as they go forward. You, you know, you said something a while ago earlier about your African ancestry yeah. that inspires you. And we just um, recently uh, about the Holocaust, whereby yeah. it was very clear that this must not be forgotten. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, and at times, sometimes, unfortunately, sometimes <laughs> you're hearing that for Africans or yeah. for slavery, yeah. um, get over it. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 but yeah. it is so important that we don't forget these things that we we nail our mass to it yeah. and have it as a foundation to understand. Exactly. Well, one, funny you should so touch on that because yeah. one of the projects that I am going to be doing, because what a lot of people don't seem to realize yes. now, is that mm -hmm. even though there were six million people, Jews that were also slaughtered in yes. the, during that time, there were also black people who were also slaughtered by the Nazis at the time. Wow. Yeah, yes. but that's a story that hasn't been told. That's yes. a story that, that just gets glossed over because, you know, the focus is on the Jews. But yeah. they're also what they would call minorities, whether they're gay, whether they're, they're uh, uh, African people, mm -hmm. whether they're Asians, who are also slaughtered. Yes. So one of my projects that I have in the future is to write a story based on yes. an African person in that time, a black person going yeah. through that, that, that time. Well, well definitely, I, I mean, we'll, we'll have to p follow that up because mm. it will be something, because there's always the other side of the, right. the truth. Exactly. Well, truth is truth, <laughs> but there's another side of the truth. Exactly. That's true. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. Exactly. Um, now, there are many events that have been focused in the media of yeah. today. And um, all over the world, you've got Boko Haram, you've got what's yeah. happening in Greece. Yeah. Um, when I say Greece, I'm talking the new yeah. prime minister yeah, yeah. against austerity. Yeah, you've yeah. got a thing which happened in Australia, yeah, 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 Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. And election coming in the yeah, UK. Yeah, yeah. What is it? You know, what is it that ins you know, what is your view on Greece? Uh, which one? Um, well, you know what? Um, I, I look at, because one of the beauties of, of, of growing up in the Caribbean, because I learned about world history. Yes. You know what I mean? And I love history. Yes. I love history. My nephew does. He always say, "Okay, oh, you're always watching history document documentaries." I said, "Yeah, because yeah, that's the way you learn about the world." Mm, mm. Um, and I think w what's fascinating is that mm. time 
there's always something happening. Regardless, yes. from man has been on this earth, there's always been something happening. Yes. You know what I mean? So whether it's 5,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, 100,000 years ago, something has always been happening. Yes. The beauty of what we have today is the information moves much quicker yes. than it would have been in those times. So, so, so these are just life events that yes. take place. Yes. What I look at is what I can do Yes. within all of this, how I can change and inspire other people so, to, to be who they need to be. So dealing with our sphere of influence. It's, exactly. Now, in inspiring young people now, for argument's sake, um, your manager carry out of being a writer, what would you say is advice, or what advice would you give to young writers now wanting to get into that zone, um, into that field? The, 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 the thing I always say, and which I've learned, is just keep writing. Always write. Keep writing. Whatever it is, just keep writing. And then once you, once you, especially because there's yes. a, I think there's a difference between liking and loving into yes. the writing. If you like to write, it's going to be a chore. Yes. If you love it, then you'll do it whenever, however, yes. and, 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 and then you produce yes. what needs to be done from that. That's, you know awesome. I mean? That's awesome. <laughs> now, before we wrap up, you know, yeah. and I wish you could stay longer, but I heard that you're trying to go to Jamaica, so I, I, I won't keep it too long. <laughs> I'm going to go in <laughs> okay. What would you say is a key quote that you, inspires you that you love to share or that can inspire the viewers? Um, winners always win. Wow. Winners always win. Yeah. You've heard that. Winners, always, winners win. always win. Winners always win. Always attain to become a winner. Yes. And you will always win. win. So could we say also that everyone is a winner? Definitely. It all depends on where you start your that's right. I'm being aware that you're a winner. Yes, yes. Okay, well, Kwame, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining us on the Silburn Show. And of course, Kwame, I want to thank, thank you, you so much for coming thank today. You. Thank you. And, thank um, you for having me. Yes, yes, a pleasure. <laughs> and also, we look forward to hearing more about the, the books. Yeah, and, thank you. Yeah. Paradise Embers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. back something from Jamaica for us. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen.